When the world's tallest mountain shakes, the consequences are both dramatic and devastating. With rocks tumbling down the sides of Everest burying a base camp, tents and those inside them are inevitably affected. The figures for those who've been killed is difficult to establish, but is continuing to rise. Many more are injured and stranded. Along with mountaineers, Sherpas who guide and assist them are also feared dead. Quite a big few big avalanches coming down of those phases. Uh, from here we had a, quite a bit of rockfall. Uh, most of our team is okay. Uh, we're doing well. Some of our team members just moved up today towards Camp 1 and Camp 2. We still do not have any report from them. We're trying to get in touch with them. Some people have gone up towards uh, Camp 1. We should hear from them soon. I hope all is well up there. The mountain in the Himalayas is more than 29,000 feet above sea level. It's peak season for people climbing Everest and it's a challenge that attracts people from every continent. Around 300,000 tourists are thought to be in the region specifically to attempt to scale the mountain. A British team is among those who experienced the earthquake from a base camp. The first thing that started to happen was literally a tent started to rock and to move around us. And almost like thunder, huge boulders started to break away around us uh, from the sides of the mountains and roll down to the bottom to the base camp. Um, everybody here was absolutely fine because the local Sherpas know exactly what they're doing and they've positioned all our tents and equipment uh, to protect us from just such a thing happening. It was certainly very dramatic, what felt like half an hour, but I think it was probably more like 10 seconds this morning. By its very nature, the remoteness means search and rescue operations are problematic. Not only are expensive resources such as helicopters required, they can only fly in certain conditions. The only other option is to climb to administer first aid. One who's doing that is written on social media telling of the desperate situation. Alex Gavin pleads it's a huge disaster with many dead. He warns more will die if a helicopter doesn't arrive soon. Previously, avalanches or blizzards have caused the largest tragedies. An avalanche last April on Mount Everest killed 16 Nepalese guides. Now, as well as attempting a rescue, the fear is how much further damage aftershocks will inflict. Joanna Simpson, Sky News.